In this video, we're going to learn how to add a user to our database. And in this case, it's our test DB that we've been using throughout the series. Now, adding users to databases is a very, very common thing in web development. Usually the users are stored in one database. So you will store all of your users in one database. And in this case, we'll store this user in our test DB. And that's always a wise practice. You do not want people logging in with root. You want to give them their own unique ID and unique password. And usually you will store all of the users in one single database. You won't put them in multiple databases. And this is the same concept in Microsoft SQL Server as well. It's the same deal. You want to store the users in whatever database that you're using for your application. Right now, of course, you should be logged in with root because we haven't created our user yet. And then you want to go ahead and use the test DB. Now, the first thing we need to do is use the create user SQL command. And you just specify create user. And then you want to specify the username that you're going to create. In this case, it's going to be tester99. Then you specify at. And then you specify the server where your database is located. In this case, it is localhost. And this just means our local computer. This is where we installed our MySQL. And now if this was a remote server, some other machine, we would put that machine name right here. But in this case, we can just go ahead and use localhost. And then the next thing we need to use is the identified command. And that basically is the password. And in this case, we're just going to make the password the same name as our user ID. Now, you could make this different if you wanted to, but I'm just going to keep the name the same in this example. So let's go ahead and first we'll execute this SQL command. We'll just go up here. And of course, it worked. So now we have our user created. But the very next thing you need to do is grant privileges. Because when you first create that user, the user has no privileges. So that's what we need to do here. And you guessed it, we use the grant command. And we're going to just go ahead and grant all privileges. Now, normally, you probably wouldn't do that. You would only grant privileges for certain types of SQL commands, such as select, update, that type of thing. But we're just going to go ahead and grant all privileges. And then we go ahead and specify the database. In this case, it's the test DB. And of course, we need to specify our user and then the local host again. And we go ahead and put the password in here. So let's go ahead and run this command and we'll see what happens. And it worked. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this flush privileges? Well, when MySQL first starts up, all the privileges are loaded into memory. And even though we just granted privileges right here, they are not loaded into memory by default. So this basically refreshes all of the privileges. And so then everything will be loaded into memory and we'll have the current privilege set. So let's go ahead and do that here. And it worked. Now what we want to do is try to go ahead and log into our database with this new user. So let's see if it works. And you know what? My screen totally hung up and I had to close it and reopen it. But I just edited all that out so you didn't have to see that. But again, uh, we can go ahead and try to log back in and let's try that. And now we're prompted for the password and you want to put in whatever password you decided to use. We hit enter here and there you can see it worked. We were able to connect in with our new user and our new password. Now let's go ahead and run some other commands here just to make sure we're authorized to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll use the insert command. Remember we did this a few videos ago and let's just see if we can insert some data into our table. And we did. And again, we are doing this with our new user that we created. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.